Hello there, my name is Arnie Viorel. I'm with Diesel USA Group, Performance Turbochargers. Um, my sister company, or the sister company for uh, Diesel USA Group is Performance Turbochargers. We're the largest Garrett Master Distributor across the nation. Um, and Darren here owns Direct Diesel here in San Bernardino. And um, I have the opportunity to speak with him in regards to his business. I'm gonna ask him a few questions and we're gonna go over some things and hope you find this helpful. 03 to 0759. Um, the, you know, you, you pull the oil cap while running the engine in at operating temperature. If blow by is seen and felt, there is a dead cylinder. That, 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 I would I would say that's true. Kind of the the kind of test we do. I mean, you, uh -huh. you, you can actually do a test if you check it. You don't have to buy expensive tools. But anyways, what we do is we look for it to puff like a train. Like if we're saying, like if it has one dead cylinder, it shouldn't be constant coming out. You'll see it if you get the light just right or put a flashlight or something. Yeah. And you start it up, and once it reaches like this, if it has a dead cylinder or it's got some blow by in it you'll see it'll go poof every time that cylinder fires. Okay. Whether it fires right. or misfires, every time it hits that compression stroke, it'll puff like that. So oh, wow. you kind of, that's that's a good way to test. But if you just see constant like smoke or, or kind of like white coming out, it could be fuel or it could be water. Cause like, like say that truck behind you, they lost an EGR cooler and it, so it filled up a cylinder. So a lot of it drained down in the pan. So even though we changed oil in it three times, we kept getting high crankcase pressure and we'd see like steam and stuff. But we knew it's just because there's water in the system, you know what I mean? So basically, we just took the, the crankcase filter off, took the dipstick out of it, and just let it run for a couple hours to get any water vapors, okay. you know, so you, you could get, be misled. Do you see what I'm saying? Like if there's water in the crankcase or something, even water, because in a lot of the systems, they're trapped. So the water stays in there continually, like making rain, right? It, it, it drops down, and then you start it up, it gets hot. And, you know, so if you pulled it off, sometimes you can get fooled by that. And you, when you see smoke, you got to first determine, do, do I have a, uh, a coolant issue? Like, you know, an oil cooler issue or something, or do I have water in the crankcase? But normally, like when I said, when they're blow by, it, it looks just like, you remember the old trains when they go down and yes. it, <laughs> like, it'll just puff like that. And you're like, oh, it's got a dead cylinder. Wow. That's telltale sign most of the time. Boss Reman diesel fuel inject. That's injectors. that's you, man. I I don't. You know more than me. I, I just I just buy OE parts and I call people like you and say, what do I do? I've got to say, uh, Boss Reman fuel injectors are the best on the market. I think they are. You know, it's what they, we buy. They're expensive, right? But they're the top of the line. Um, you don't want to go to your local, hey man, um, uh, fuel injector place man right, you know, right, it's, right. A, it's a right. you're gonna spend more money in the long run right just right. replace it with a good Bosch fuel injector reman um, that's what we buy okay it that's is what we buy but nice. I don't but I don't know if it's better <coughs> the only thing I can tell you on to, to a story like that customer I never let customers bring parts guys like I don't have okay. any money I got eight injectors I bought them online blah 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 oh, I said no, hey we'll no. put them in we'll put them Do in you? Wow. no no okay. one time and I said just understand if it doesn't run or we had a misfire, you're gonna have to pay us to take that side apart again. So it's a V8 application, right? So we immediately started, we have a misfire in one cylinder, right? So call your guy on the online and get you one. So he gets him one, he brings it back and we stab it in the hole, you know, take it apart. He pays us again. We take it on our test drive. Our test drive is 30 miles back and forth. So it's like 15 there up a hill and back. And we come back on the back of the test drive. We got another misfire oh, no. on the other bank. So I call him again and I said, hey bro, um, you need another injector. Now it's this one. He's like, it would have probably been cheaper if I bought the injectors from you. And I'm like, it would have because you're buying from some ghetto fabulous place <laughs> online, right? And yeah, they can man. say they're Bosch, but you don't know if they are. Hey, do I use this hammer to put the dang your old ring on it? Or, right, you know, which right, way? right, you know, right, you know, right. It's, it's, it's crazy. But on another, that EGR cooler, make uh -huh. sure you buy it from me. Grizzly Air. I'm just plugging in. Nice. Grizzly Air e EGR yeah. cooler. You know, Arnie, so, I did know, not know but... that you sold those. Because <laughs> oh. that's the second one. No. <laughs> You're killing me, man. But it's You're sometimes but me. sometimes I don't. No, that's the second one that's gone in. It's been retrofitted. Okay. It's been retrofitted oh. last time. And it's got 5,000 miles on it and it died again. But this, Holy look cow. at the truck, though. The yeah. truck has got, you know, it's got that's a highest. That's a lot of weight and that's a lot of pull. It's 65,000 you know? pounds. Holy you know what I mean? And, and the motor that's in it needs to be much larger. But I didn't know you guys sold those. Yes. Grizzly Air okay. EGR cooler. Good thing man. we're sitting here talking, huh? Yeah. Because yeah. you got to know who your suppliers and are. I'll leave you a catalog again. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm not going to read no, that. I know. You, have to, you have to pay attention. It's almost like um, one time when I was an adult, so my teeth were all jacked up, so I went to go get braces. So then I got my braces put on. I go back to my dentist. I'm 30 years old. And he goes, who put your braces on? And uh, I said, uh, Dr. Simons or whatever. And he's like, oh, that's great. He goes, 
Um, did you know that we do braces? We put we do orthodontic or however you say that word, right? We do that yeah. work, and I said, no, I, I didn't know you did that kind of work here. And he goes, that's a problem, yeah. <laughs> right? Just like <laughs> yeah, now, like is. you're like, hey, I saw that's these parts. Problem. I'm like, that's a problem. I didn't oh, know. Oh man. Yeah, uh, so so we we gave more money to the to the Peterbilt dealership. <laughs> you're killing me, man. 